Okay, in this tutorial, what we're going to look at is uh, the look at constraint. Now, we have looked at this before, um, again with the fish animation, but let's look at it again. One of the scenarios that's common for look at targets is things like eye controllers, eye constraints. Um, also, things like wheels. Look at controllers, a good thing for creating like a, a steering mechanism. Uh, lots of different things. So, let's look at this. So what I want is I want to create a constraint which when I move this around the eyes will orientate themselves to always look in that direction no matter where this is. Uh, again what I've got in this is just a set of different objects so this is going to be my look at controller which is a simple um, spline object with enabling viewport clicked on. It wouldn't render out with enabling render it clicked off. I've got some point helpers which I've got for the eyes. The eye mesh themselves and then I have just got this, which I'm using as a head bone, which I'm going to link everything into. Um, just good practice to do that. So let's grab this point uh, helper and let's align it to the object. So all I'm going to do here is just align the pivot point to the pivot point and the X, Y, Z uh, position. Now this can create problems. Um, let's just look at this. I'm going to grab this. First of all, I'm just going to link it into our point helper. Okay. Um, so there we have the standard rotation control over that. And then what I'm going to do now is grab this point helper and we're going to add a look at constraint. So go to animation, constraints, and look at constraint. And I'm going to click it to go over here. And yeah, what happens is the eye kind of flips out. Um, and this is to do with the relative orientations of these two objects. Um, let's just look at a fix for this first and let's look at how we can solve it from the start. So if I just click back on my point helper in our motion panel, which we should be in under rotation, we can go down to the look at constraint. So we have this tick box here, keep initial offset. Click on that. What that does is actually keep it positioned in the same position that it was already at. Um, this is a good thing because what this is doing actually is trying to focus in on the center of this object. So it's already trying to rotate into this object in the first place, which would end up with your character being slightly cross-eyed. But then now you can see you've actually got that working. Uh, one way to fix the problem, to start getting around this problem with different rotations, um, is to click on this object and let's align this to the eye again, or the other eye. What I'm going to do this time is align the orientation as well. So uh, let's just click on the, in fact, I'm going to cancel out that for a second. Let's just look at something else first. Uh, if you just look at rotations to these, I'm going to go into rotation and go into our local translation, which is just showing the rotation model for this particular object. If you just take a look at this, we can actually see with the color coordination, the color um, on this, that uh, if we look at RGB, so what we've got is red, green, and blue, they denote X, Y, and Z. So this one here is our X axis. You can see how that's rotating it up and down. Now let's just look at the eye. Click on the eye. This is the same rotation we we're looking at. And this is the X, which is fine. Uh, let's just look at this. So the uh, Y axis. And this one, this is a z-axis. So you can see that the orientations don't match up, the local coordinates don't match up. And that can cause problems in hierarchies and linking sometimes uh, when using constraints as well. So a fix to this is to grab this object and align it. But I'm also going to align the orientation, x, y, and z. Okay? It doesn't seem to have done anything to the point helper, um, but now when I link this in, the important thing to do is do that before you actually link it in. So let's link that in. Now let's just use this look at target again. Uh, animation, constraints, look at constraint. So this is a true orientation of these. These two match up, but you still see we have a problem that sometimes things flip out. Um, what I can do again is just go down and just keep initial offset. 
And again, that's just looking forward in this initial position. Aligning those two coordinate systems up to each other for the actual object and the dummy helper, and sometimes the dummy helper to what it's fixed in terms of, say, the head or the orientation of this, um, can really make a difference to, to getting around some of those problems. But you do have that option as well in some of these, especially orientation um, focus constraints. You do have that acute initial target, which can bring you back to its original position. But now we have this, we have all of that working, okay, all works fine. Um, just a good practice, what I'm going to do is just take these two point helps for the eyes. And I'm just going to do a normal select and link to what would be the head bone. So what you've got to watch out for for these, these um, look at constraints is I want to start moving so the head around, quite nice, because it still looks at the constraint. Uh, it depends what you want, because if you start moving this forward, what's going to happen is eventually these are going to flip out. And obviously if you've got the head there, the eyes are going to flip inside out and start to go inside the head. Um, you can get around that by just going in and moving the point helper, uh, moving the look at target itself, which will kind of fix the problem. Um, and another way you could do it is to actually just link this in. So the thing about this, these aren't, these are just linked directly and these are just following exactly what this head bone does. Uh, but this isn't part of the equation, so I can still link this in. I just go and select a link. This is usually best to the root controller, but what I'm going to do is just do it to the head, first of all. So now what we get is we can move this forward. And you see the control object goes with it. So no matter where the head is, the eyes are looking forward, and then we can control this independently. Okay. So that's just a bit of linking in with this control object afterwards. But that is the look at constraint.